In this video, I'm going to show you the most common cause of water mixing with oil. We'll start with warming up the engine, followed by a compression test. Just a quick blip of the throttle off to it. It's important to note that not all gauges will read the same. It is better to read the percentage of variability between the cylinders. A good range would be no more than 10% between the highest and lowest. Comparing to cylinder 4 here, we're looking for about 180 psi or higher. Cylinder 2 came up a bit low, but I'm not yet concerned with that. The compression test showed good numbers, so we're going to continue on and check the oil cooler. It's located under the intake manifold. To remove the airbox, we start with this hose clamp and then remove it from the throttle body. Then remove the hose from the airbox so we can pull the whole airbox out. Unmount the oil vapor canister and slide it forward. This is the water supply coming from the jet pump to the oil cooler. Now we just need to unbolt the intake manifold and slide it forward to access the oil cooler. You may need to disconnect the fuel line from the fuel rail. Be careful not to break the plastic connector. If fuel continues to pour out, try releasing the gas cap to relieve the pressure. Disconnect the two water lines from the oil cooler. The lower line comes from the jet pump and the top dumps the heated water into the exhaust. Put some rags under it and remove the oil filter. Now we can remove the 30 millimeter oil filter bolt and the 12 millimeter mounting bolt. Now to see if this is actually the problem. Well, good news, or bad news. This is actually worse than I thought. That is a lot of salt residue. Looks like we found the smoking gun. This is definitely leaking water into the engine. We'll need a new oil cooler, but this is a good sign. Hopefully this is the only issue. Believe it or not, but this ski only has about 13 hours on it. It just goes to show how important it is to flush your ski after every ride in salt water. Hope you all found this helpful. Leave a comment if you got questions. Thanks for watching.